Good evening, I know it's 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, we're Viewers Choice 2013. I'm coming to you live um, from our room studio. And this is a special edition. I am getting sick and tired of people getting to people's businesses and making them feel like they're wrong when they're in situations that they are correct. Plain and simple. When somebody does something to arrange something that financially fits their needs, then that is correct, especially if a company agrees to it. If the company has agreed to it before the person has made the decision, and then makes a decision after the company has agreed to it and made sure all the other bills are taken care of on time, you know, like rent, electric bill, um, water bill, all those other bills, making sure that was paid, and then arranged another bill, one bill, mind you, for another date with the company the bill is with and the company agrees upon it then that was a correct decision on that person nobody can say differ nobody can out there also say that y'all haven't done that yourselves because that to me pisses me off when people want to take control of your finances and financial uh, situations when at that moment you know what you have, you know what you can do, and you made a correct decision by making the arrangement with that company to get that bill paid on a certain date without penalty and which will financially fit your situation. Therefore, you're in the correct. It's being a grown-up and you made a grown-up decision and got everything approved with the company, so therefore you're not even going to be penalized. So thus, nobody has the right to put another person down about that situation or try to belittle them. I hate when people belittle people. It is wrong. I know I personally have had made dis personal decisions to arrange bills in other ways and other, uh, other dates, and I made sure it was paid. My father has done it. My grandfather has done it. My brothers have done it. My sisters have done it. Uh, lots of my friends and other parts of my families have. A lot of people I know have. So, if you're out there and you say, well, I have never, ever, 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 ever been laid on a bill, you're lying. Because I can guarantee there was a time when you were laid on a bill. And as long as you made the rightful arrangements, you also know that there's no penalty to it. None. As long as you make that conscious um, effort to call the company and let them know, hey, I'll be able to make the bill on this time. I just don't really have the money right now. And they understand. And they make that arrangement. And guess what? You're good to go. No penalties. You know, and I'm just sick of people belittling people. It's wrong. Um... I know when somebody tells me that, hey, you're doing something wrong on this, 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 and this, I always tell them, well, you know, I don't care really what you say, uh, because I know I'm right. I had to do what I had to do financially to fit my situation. Um, otherwise, it would leave me without gas. It would leave me without food. If I don't have gas, I can't get to work. I can't make my money. I can't pay my bills. But by making sure I have that money and arrange that bill, I'm going to stress that again. I arrange that bill for another date, which the company approved for that date. Then they gave me the, the, the gas that I need to make sure I got to work and make the money I need to make to go ahead and make sure my bills were continuously paid. So, I don't like when people belittle people over situations like this, especially since it's one little bill that was arranged with the company to be taken care of at another date and the company of which approved such bill. So therefore, there is no penalties involved here. There is nothing wrong done here. Nobody's going to be hurt here. And for people to think otherwise, it's it's just none of your damn business. That's what it boils down to. Um, sorry, I'm plugging in the charger. Computer's kind of running low. I'm going to be straight up with y'all out there.
People who do that to other people, it's none of your damn business. None. Especially if a person's a grown-up. I can understand if a person's is first coming into the world, 17, 16, 18, just first starting off with their bills, you know. But when they're a grown fucking person, I mean like mid-20s and up, guess what? It's, it's really, they're making a conscious decision that they know is correct. Especially when they talk to the company. And the company say, yes, that's fine. So therefore, it is good. There's no worries there. It will be paid on that date. So people who get your nose into it and get mad at somebody for that and try to belittle them and make them feel like they did something wrong, hey, a uh, word of advice, it's none of your fucking business. None. I hate to say that, but it's true. You have anything to add, my co-host Ernie Mac? Uh, yeah. Are you afraid that certain people are going to see this video? Yeah. Anyway, all the people watching. That was a special announcement from Tony D. And now, we will begin with our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> this is people watching. It's good to hear him laugh after I missed that rant. You're probably glad I did. Yeah. So today at people watching, we as a family, we went to Jones Green Park. We had a few laughs, had a good time, splashed in the water, tossing balls. Yeah, we can read it, Coca-Cola. Smacking the racket. Smacking the rackets around, playing badminton, all that good shit. Even flying a kite with the little ones. And then when we sat down to relax under the shade of a nice little tree, what should we see as we look to our left? A nasty black pregnant bitch with her belly sticking all the way out, all the way out. You can see the Audi and everything with some skin tight ass pants and a short ass halter top up to here. All up to here. Small ass thing, just covering her titties all the way around. That's nasty. Yeah. Built there. I, I see, I see like this. If a per, if a woman is that pregnant and that far along in pregnancy, they really need to be wearing a one piece shirt. Or it's, it's a really, nice little sundress. A sundress you know. or something to I'm not saying hide the belly, but no, be respectful. Not at all. You don't have to hide the belly, but damn, there is a limit. You got other kids around there. Yeah. People don't want to see that shit. You gotta be respectful to yourself and others. And others. That was just stank. But then at the same time, as that nasty sight went away, there was a big woman, a very large woman, in a sundress. Now, ladies, <clears throat> I'm not saying don't wear your sundresses. I'm not saying you can't wear anything underneath them. But goddammit, as a large person, as a large woman, when you have a damn sundress that's almost see-through, in the sunlight, in any kind of light, do not wear right panties. That is disgusting. I don't want to see your crack engulfing what is supposed to be underwear or thong or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But that is gross. That is nasty. Cover that shit up. Wear some motherfucking bathing shorts, some bathing something, something to cover up that crap. That is just, that is just nasty. <sighs> All that pizza is about to come up. We had some good ass pizza for dinner. It's about to come up. This has been people watching. I'm going I'm, I'm to hand it over to my co-host before I lose my job. Uh, on, on to end the news. End the news. Yeah. I got one thing for end the news tonight. I was going to do two, but I'm going to do one. No, I'll do two. Romney and, uh, announces who his vice president is going to be. A guy you're not even in the office yet. Right. You haven't even won yet. You ain't going to win. So, it's, therefore, still, how can you be like sitting there announcing your vice president when you don't know if you're going to be a president? You yet? got some balls and funny looking fairy. So, uh, yeah. Try again. Okay. Loser. 
Uh, bringing on me to my next subject. What's got name Romney anyway? Mitt. His first name is Mitt, like a mitten. Oh, wow. Mitt Romney. Yeah. Mitt. Look, you're fucking naming a cat mittens. Come here, mittens. Come here. Meow. Meow. <laughs> so, which uh, brings me to my other topic. A young teenager. Well, about 18. Yeah. Breaks into a $5 million home to throw a party for a host of 12, quote unquote, but I bet you it was more than 12 because they did over $25,000 worth of damage to the property. And according to him, the party was for a friend that was supposed to be going out of town. Kind of the level it goes down in Orlando, California, don't we? I mean, I Fowler, was, Florida. I think it was Ohio. No, no, it was uh, Orlando. Orlando, Florida? Oh, wow. Orlando. Orlando, Florida, this young kid did it. Um, it caused 25000 worth of, worth of uh, damages, and he looked like he got hit by a hobbit. Looks like he got smacked around by a Jubilee hobbit. Between look, you guys like, and us, it looked like he had herpes on his, on his face. I'm just saying. Probably got hepatitis C, too. Yeah. And um, this kid was just ridiculous. Retarded. Retarded. Who the hell would break into a $5 million home? Are you out of your fucking mind? If I'm going to break into a $5 million home, I'm stealing all your shit. For real, I'm going to throw some goddamn party so I can get caught. I'm going to jack your shit and run. I'm going to be looking for that safe. Right? I'm looking for your valuable jewelry, your your, your silverware, your movies, your movies. This dumb burglar decides to throw a party. Wow, you're a dumb burglar throws a party. And in case you're wondering, yes, he was colored. Yes, he was very colored. He was a preppy colored. Yeah, preppy colored idiot that got caught. And the funny part about it is, not only was he caught, but all his friends ratted him out. Ha ha ha. Ah, good job, genius. Good job, moron. You deserve a gold star for that, you fucking tool. So, on that note, this has been People Watching. And, and in the news. And in the news. And stay right there. We'll be back with a quick message. We sure will.